Hello everybody. Uh, today I will give you the problem statement for lab at lab 8 which is sequential circuit design using D and JK flip-flops. Right. So uh, now this is the IC which we are going to use in LTSPI 7474 D flip-flop. So uh, in the actual IC uh, it is a um, it is it is got an two flip-flops okay two D flip-flops within the IC but in LTSPI you will just be able to uh, take only a single uh, D flip-flop from the component list. You will call for 7474 flip-flop and, and and the schematic which you see will be schematic symbol what will you see what will be of the uh, single flip-flop okay so uh, now if you see uh, it has got one clear pin right and it has also got one uh, preset pin okay so the functions of that is available here it is shown in this table so this is a snapshot of the data sheet so you should uh, I told you earlier itself we should know how to read the data sheet also so in this case it is the, the, the function is clearly defined here if preset is low and clear is high irrespective of the clock and data the output will be uh, uh, output will be high right similarly if the preset is high and the clock is low it will be uh, set to low the output will be see it, it is bar out here okay it is both you you have an um, a bar out here so there is two bubbles out here that means it is preset bar and clear bar so if you give uh, zero in the preset pin so internally there is a bar there so it will become okay uh, it will be preset to one similarly clear if you give low it will be uh, preset to low here and if both lows are not permitted that is you know, obvious that you cannot have preset and clear both going low so it is an active low signal preset and clear so both low is not permitted so that is not permitted here right so okay and then when 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 the preset and the clear both are high only in that circumstances and uh, it, the output will depend on the clock and you see this arrows which is going up it means it is a positive edge triggered d flip-flop so during the positive edge whatever is d okay the output will be uh, slave to h okay if it is h it will get slave to h if it is l it will get slave to l and q is the complementary of the uh, queued bar is the complementary of q and uh, similarly if both are high and this is showing if the clock is low continuously low okay at that time irrespective of whatever d uh, the q remains in the previous state that means it is not uh, q is if it is level triggered uh, if, if the q is at in a particular uh, clock is in a particular level then the output doesn't change the output will only change during the transition that is why the positive edge is shown here okay so this is one ic which we are going to use and the problem one we are going to solve using this ic okay the ic is uh, 7474 like i said okay the problem will be this is the state diagram which is shown here right it is not sequential uh, on a counter it is not an uh, uh, mod 3 counter which we discussed in the class okay it's not a two bit counter okay it is zero zero one zero zero one and one one so the sequence is uh, disturbed here so this is the uh, diagram which uh, state uh, uh, diagram is given here you got to make a state table you got to make the uh, equations which has been covered in lecture number 18 so you just have to go through that lecture and accordingly uh, design this okay so the next flip-flop what we are going to use today is, is in the lab is 74107 JK flip-flop right so this is the pin diagram again this chip is and uh, this chip what you have you have two JK flip-flops within this inside this but in uh, in, in LT spice when you call for this IC it, it will show only one JK flip-flop okay uh, so uh, it has got a uh, clear okay clear bar so whenever you give uh, it doesn't have a preset and set it just has a clear input right when when the clear is low the output will be clear to low so whenever you give a zero signal in the clear bar pin the output will be uh, set to low okay so this will set to this will be set to high this will be set to low irrespective of the clock and jk so whenever clear is high and uh, and only in those circumstances the clock and the jk pins are enabled right so this is a negative edge triggered flip-flop if you see these are all the it is shown okay Neg the edge is going negative from high to low so for low low it will remain same right for uh, uh high low j is high and k is low it will go to high state 
j is l and h is uh, k is high it will go to low state this is what we read in the theory class right and for hh -H, it will toggle right and 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 this state is not uh, it, it is showing that when the, there is no transition in the clock okay the clock is continuously high then nothing happens okay because it is edge triggered so whatever is irrespective of j and k whatever was the previous data which is there that will remain here so this this these are the two uh, ICs which we are going to use using this IC 74 uh, okay uh, this is okay erroneously given here uh, please amend it to read uh, no, this should be uh, 74107 okay this will be 74107D flip flop so using this flip flop you are going to uh, design a gray, gray counter right here it is 0001 11 and 00 so this is going to be a uh, gray counter so you need to make a state table and use jk flip-flop to realize this counter okay so these are the two uh, flip-flops and two problem statements this is again problem statement number two okay so this you are going to make these two problems so uh, i'll what i will do is i'll just demonstrate to you about the uh, the basic functioning of these two ICs. from there on you need to do your experiment yourself okay so this is the uh, D flip-flop which we will get from the component list if you press the component list 7474 is available here right so you t pick that up from there uh, and then you have to give for the preset and clear you give to give 5 volts okay now remember don't give 1 volt okay it won't work the one is not logical one is 5 volt so you are going to give 1 volt so that uh, 5 volt sorry 5 volt for the preset and clears for it to function and then you are going to uh, apply a clock signal here right and you are I am just giving a demo where I have given some D and I have uh, given some clock signal and I'm going to the measure the output uh, here so uh, I have used this one micro and two micro uh, this is an, uh, the data change rate the clock change rate is one micro so and time period is two micro so you can use the same uh, frequency it may not work very well in gigahertz range okay so you need to give it in the megahertz range so once I do the simulation I get this waveform right this is uh, the topmost blue is D this is the clock and this is the output so if you see this this is the positive going uh, edge it is sensed a one here so it, it continues to remain one here this is again the next positive edge clock is out here so it has sensed a zero here so it has gone to uh, zero here the next positive clock edge of the clock is here so you will find that data is high here so it is, the output has gone high next positive edge is here it is zero here so it has gone to zero here so kindly use this uh, d flip-flop and and uh, you have to give this the, this will remain there you have clock also will remain there and there will be two such uh, uh, flip-flops for you for the design and what are the inputs required to be given d inputs that you need to um, calculate you need to uh, solve those equations and find out what are the d inputs and make a counter accordingly okay for the problem statement 2 you are going to use jk flip-flop so again i have picked up this from the uh, component list it's available here so you have uh, here what i have done is i have given uh, the uh, here it has got a clear so i have given 5 volt and i have put uh, clear to uh, both the uh, these things so clear is high so it is it is clear is disabled now now i am going to i have used the same clock for both the uh, flip-flops if you see clock clock so i am using uh, two flip-flops here right i am giving output of one flip-flop and taken it and giving it to both j and k here and here both j and k i am going to give it as one so when i give the clock this is j and k so this is going to act like an uh, like an uh, toggle flip-flop t flip-flop because j and k are shorted and given one volt so it will basically divide this clock frequency by two right and in the second case again i am giving that as an input to the next stage so it is again further going to divide it by four you got to design a different circuit i am just giving you one sample circuit where i am using these two jk flip-flops to divide the clock frequency by two here again dividing it by two and getting clock divided by four frequency out here right so this is a simple circuit which i am going to show you here so this is the clock if you see so this is the output of the first flip-flop here if you see it is negative edge triggered so during the every negative edge of the clock 
right your signal will go low here this negative edge again the signal is going high this negativity is going again toggling it so this is essentially you know a toggle flip-flop so every time there is a clock because i have given j and k1 so it is going to get you know, uh, toggled here right okay uh, yeah in this case and you know, why is it the frequency getting divided by two is like if you see uh, here during the negative edge of this this particular clock okay uh, this is actually sensing a zero here t is equal to zero right so it is not toggling whereas in this particular uh, 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 fall uh, the negative edge of the clock it is sensing a one year this one here okay just before the clock is falling down whatever is the input so this is one here so it is toggling here so that is why you get a frequency divided by four out here divided by two out here right so you but you have to design a gray counter right so you have to uh, change the inputs which is given to j and k okay this circuit will remain same here the, the clock will remain for both this the it will be the same clock which will be given here okay the clear will continue to remain uh, high so instead of giving here jk uh, i have given um, uh, no, uh, continuously uh, one high here so this you will remove these two connections and here also it will not be q it will be something else that you need to find out you need to you know, compute that using your k maps and given the gray k condition uh, code uh, sequence is known to you so you need to compute that and accordingly make this circuit okay so that's all for uh, this lab 8 uh, uh, problem definition thank you